How's it going guys? Today I'm going to go over the five best ways to hook a minnow on a jig. And this is going to be applicable for anything from crappies to bass to walleyes. Uh, it's going to be about a week to Wisconsin opening day of game fish season, about two weeks to Minnesota when this video comes out. So a lot of guys are going to be using jigs and minnows on opening day. It's a great cold water technique that you know will be great all the way through the whole spring. So stay tuned because at the end of these five tips, I'm going to give you actually two bonus tips that you're going to want to see. Now getting into it, tip number one is through the lips and through the mouth, which is a very common way of hooking a jig on a minnow. You're going to hold your minnow in your two fingers like this, and you're simply going to push that hook up right through the nostrils, bottom jaw up through the nostrils like so. Now that is going to keep your minnow alive a long time. It's not going to impede the action of the minnow at all. That minnow is going to still try and swim. But the downside to this is short strike, walleye comes in, grabs the bait from behind, he can pull that minnow off pretty easily without getting hooked. So the beauty of this is lots of action obviously on the minnow and you can you can jig it and set it on the bottom and that minnow is still going to struggle, it's still going to swim. So in cold water, that's a great way to hook them. And you don't have to put a lot of action to the bait itself and you can fish it slower this way. Now the best jig for this is a live bait jig. So a short shank is the key to hooking a minnow this way because if you have a long shank, that minnow is going to get way back here behind the, the hook and it's going to look like a super long profile and it's not going to fish right. So a short shank for lip hooks is a great way to go. This is a Northland live bait jig, perfect jig for that. And I'm going to leave links for all these jigs in the description as well so you guys can pick them up. But that's kind of our first way, through the lips, just down through the bottom, out through the top right by the nostrils, great setup. Tip number two is going to be through the back of the head. And what you're going to do for this is you're going to push that hook point into the minnow's mouth as far back as you can and then come out right in the center behind the head like so. Now what that's going to do is going to it's going to hold your minnow on much better and it's going to push that hook point back a little further. That's going to hook fish that are short striking a little bit better. Uh, also you're going to lose some of the action of the minnow, the live action, it's probably going to kill the minnow pretty quick. So you're going to have to impart more action with the jig itself and you're going to have to, you know, twitch that a little bit, jig it up and down. If you just set it on the bottom, that minnow just kind of kind of flop over and probably not move much. So that's more of an active jigging uh, technique. You're still going to get a little movement, you know, when you do jig it, that minnow is going to undulate pretty good because that hook shank isn't penetrating all the way through it. So you're still going to get a good action out of it. A great jig for this is just a standard ball jig. This is a Kalen's ball jig and it's just kind of designed for plastics or live bait. It doesn't have a super long shank, but the shank is long enough that it can reach the back of the head without shoving the minnow's head up into that ball. So that's a perfect setup for uh, a little bit short striking fish and to hold your minnow on a little better. Now what you don't want to do with this setup is you don't want to push that hook through the minnow's, the top of the minnow's head. If you push it too short, and pop through that skull it's going to crack the skull and that hook is just going to come out super easy so you want to be behind the skull into that meat in the back of the minnow right there so that's technique number two all right as i grab another minnow here i wanted to mention my angle cooler this is a the best bait cooler that i've ever found uh it's a, it's locks the top locks like this keeps that lid sealed I actually replaced this cooler's aerator with a clam lithium aerator, which is also the best aerator I've found. And this thing is so quiet, keeps your bait alive without driving you crazy in the boat. And it also has a cycling phase, so you can cycle it on and off so it saves the battery. That's just a rechargeable aerator too, so you don't have to spend money on batteries every time you go out. So I'll leave a link in the description for this, this cooler as well as the aerator. All right, so tip number three. This is a great way to keep the minnow on a hook really, really well and get that hook point back there a little further. So we're gonna want a long shank jig for this. This is a clam TG jig. It's actually a tungsten jig and that's got a little bit longer shank on it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to push that hook point into the minnow's mouth and then come out right at the bottom of the gills like that, all right? 
Then we're going to turn the minnow as we push it all the way to the head of the jig. And then we're going to push that hook point back up through the minnow from the bottom to the top, just like that. And that's going to be a really, really solid way to keep that minnow on there. That thing's not coming off. And if they short strike it a little bit back here, you're still going to hook them. So that's a great way to get a lot of uh, use out of your minnows. Now that's going to be a little less action, so you're really going to have to jig that and keep it moving. That minnow's not going to move much. It's going to kill it pretty quick. So uh, definitely a good way to keep it on there, but not a super active minnow type of a, a hookup. So that's tip number three. All right, guys, tip number four. You probably notice it's a lot lighter behind me. That's because I didn't hit record on when I recorded this morning on tip four, so I had no footage. So I had to come back and re-record this. That's just, that's filming for you. But anyway, tip number four, tail hook the minnow. So what we're gonna do is just get about a eighth of an inch ahead of that tail. We're gonna pop through like that. And that is gonna make that minnow really wiggle as you can see there. And I love to use a stand up jig with a short shank for this because you can drop that jig to the bottom and it's gonna stand up and that minnow is gonna try and swim away from that hook. And you can leave it there for quite a while and that minnow will just struggle on the bottom and fish will come and just pick it up right off the bottom. So the minnow will stay alive for quite a while using this method, but it really makes it look like a wounded prey right on the bottom. So that's tip number four. It's about to get dark out again for tip number five. All right guys, tip number five is a thread hook. So we're actually gonna thread that hook all the way through the minnow and that's gonna keep it on there a really long time, not coming off gets those short biters. It's great for these jigs like this Whistler jig. We got that little spinner on there. That's gonna add some more action to it because this is not a super active way to rig the minnow. Uh, but I love it for these spinner jigs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the hook point into the mouth again, but then we're just gonna keep threading it onto the hook all the way. And you kinda have to kinda turn the minnow sideways a little bit and then push the hook point through and just thread it all the way up like that. And that's going to keep that minnow on there a really long time, not coming off. Uh, you're gonna have that spinny action on there for more action and you can really rip that jig up and down, be aggressive with it and you know that minnow's not coming off as well as it's gonna hook those short strikers that are, that are coming at the back of the bait. Now you don't have to use a spinner jig, you know you can use a long shank jig for this, works great as well. Uh, but that's tip number five. Now for the bonus tips If you're gonna hook a minnow on a Short jig so something like this little live bait jig on a float. So say we're using a uh, Slip bobber situation is you're gonna want to hook it in the back Because that minnow is gonna struggle and try and swim away from the hook now 90% of people when they hook a minnow in the back. They're doing it wrong. Okay, they're gonna push it from one side to the other. So they're gonna just hook it under the dorsal fin like that. That is incorrect. The reason is that fish is gonna eat that minnow head first for one thing. So when he comes in, he's gonna eat that minnow head first. And what happens if you hook it sideways is oftentimes he eats that thing and the tail swings over as you pull that jig out and it penetrates the tail of the minnow and it's gonna pull that right out of the fish's mouth without hooking it. So the other thing is the minnow's sideways. When that jig is hanging there in the water, your minnow's sideways, which is not natural. You want it to be upright. So instead of hooking it sideways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the minnow from back to front and we're gonna push that hook point forward and then out like that. So that way, when that fish eats that bait, the minnow's not gonna get in the way of the hook He's gonna crush that bait and that hook is gonna be right there. And also, that minnow's up right now and he's swimming naturally. So that's a great tip. You guys are definitely gonna to wanna to hook your minnows that way if you're hooking them on a float. Uh, the second bonus tip is a stinger hook. So right here, a lot of jigs you'll see, they have this little eye at the bottom. That is to hook up a stinger hook, which is basically a hook that comes back on the minnow that's gonna hook those short, short strikers. So let me grab a minnow here and I'll sh show you what I mean. All right, so how we're gonna rig this stinger hook is basically lip hook the bait just like we did in tip one. And now 
that stinger hook is kind of hanging loose there. We don't want it hanging loose. So we're gonna actually hook that right behind the dorsal fin on the bait. Now, when that fish comes along in short strikes, that hook is right there to get them. And that's another great tip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these tips. Hopefully you can use them on this upcoming opener. Jigging minnow is a great way to catch fish and uh, hopefully you guys can get out there and crush them. Use some of these tips and absolutely hammer the fish on opener. Good luck, tight lines, get hooked up.